I got a high school head coaching job at a school that nobody wanted. I got the job because nobody wanted the job. They had a hazing scandal the year before that was still ongoing. And they were probably going to cancel the football program. They had seven guys when I had my first football meeting. I mm. was 25. Wow. And we went from – they were like one and nine the year before, really bad. You know, seven players in the first meeting to having like 45 guys and going to the playoffs the first year, having a field in the varsity and JV team. Mm -hmm. And so throughout this process, you know, people say like, you know, people say things like when, when, when black coaches rise, you know, you're like a self promoter and all these different things. But the way that I've been promoted has always been through the kids or other coaches seeing me coach. Mm. Right. So when I was coaching JV, all the kids would tell me like, coach, why are you even here? Like you're a, you should be coaching college. You should be coaching here. Da, da, da. So that gave me the, it sparked the idea to start applying for high school head coaching jobs. <clears throat> let, me, let me ask you this, Coach. What did those kids see in you? Was it just your IQ, your knowledge of the game? What did they – even the kids, because the kids can't see a lot of stuff. What did they see in you that made them say, Coach, you should be at college? I think when people look at you, when you walk into a room, you should – you should that room should get excited. It's like kind of like when you pick up your kids from school. And they scream, Daddy! Like yeah. they, they should be excited when you come in the room. So that's that's kind of the first thing I think. When I when I walk into a room, people get people get excited. You know what I'm saying? And then you should be able to inspire people. They should look at you and be like, Yo, that's a person of character. That's a person that you know walks in, walks a certain way. You know, they've been through something. You know what I mean? They can look at them and go like, Yeah, that person inspires me. Then the next thing is they got to see that you love the game. You know, like I love the game and everything that comes with it. I mean. Every little thing you could think of that people don't like, I like it. I, I like all of it. I want all, you know what I mean? I want everything and, and, and then some that come with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they see that I really care about each kid. Every kid that shows up, as long as you show up, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? But the thing I love that I learned from like Mike Tomlin, he said that, you know, like everybody talks about how you get they, their average player to be play good, you know, and that's important. Mm -hmm. But most coaches forget that you got to get your best guy to be his best all the time. You know, like your elite player to play elite every week. You know, and I, I think that's what's helped me 